everybody welcome before we get into the video i just wanted to take the time to make sure i let you guys know that i really appreciate you spending a couple of minutes to just kind of hang out with me get to know me get to know my channel i want to extend the warmest gratitudes and just say thank you so much for watching my name is tiffany nicole and I have been married to my husband, Des, for seven years, and we have two little boys. Our oldest son, his name is DJ, he is four, and we have our little baby, Kai, who just turned one. So, regarding my weight loss journey, back in the fall of 2019, I started to have like these headaches, and to make a long story short, after getting checked out, I found out that my blood pressure was like really high, and I it made me nervous, because before I actually was committed about losing weight. I just pretty much ate whatever I wanted. I didn't really think about or plan or even keep track of anything. I don't know, I just did not really think about what I was putting into my body. And of course, over the years, like I saw the scale go up and up, especially but. after the birth of our four-year-old. I wanted to lose weight um, after I had him, but I also kind of, developed a bad relationship with food if you will where i had become an emotional eater and i already dealt with depression for pretty much most of my life but i also dealt with postpartum depression after both pregnancies so needless to say i it was a very emotional time for me so before i knew it i had become the heaviest that i'd ever been in my life and in my head, I knew I needed to lose weight, but I could never get that motivation to kind of jumpstart my weight loss. It starts to affect your health. For me, that's when I was like, okay, because all I could think about were my husband and my kids. My kids didn't ask to be here. My husband wants me to be healthy. So that's when I was just like, okay, you know what? I am gonna take better care of myself. I'm gonna do what I need to do for my family. I'm gonna get healthy. So that's how it started. So this was back in towards the end of September. I decided that October 1st was gonna be the day that I start. So for the month of October, I literally worked out every single day. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but I like went in head first. It was fun. I noticed my moods increased a lot more. I noticed that I was happier. I started to look forward to working out. So my starting weight as of October 1st, 2019 was 264 pounds. I'll insert screenshots just to give you guys some visuals. But yeah, so I literally um, was 264 and I was like, okay, like let's just see what you know we can do. I ended up losing 16 pounds at the end of October. I was so happy and so excited and I was like, yes, I could do this. And then November happened. I fell off the wagon. As a matter of fact, I threw myself off the wagon, but it's not like what you think. And I'm gonna explain. So literally my husband and the boys, their birthday is in November. So every week in the month of November, it was just something like celebratory, lots of food, lots of like just hanging out, having fun, having a good time with the kids. So I was so weak and I felt horrible and then my mindset it was like oh like I ate too much food or I had this cake and then I would feel guilty and then that guilt would turn into me like binge eating I didn't work out every single day but I was still like getting my workouts in I ended up still losing weight I don't know how this happened because to me I was like okay I'm doing horribly at the end of so let me go back i'm sorry the end of october i weighed 248 and oh i have to breathe <laughs> but at the end of october i weighed 248 and at the end of november i still lost weight i ended up weighing 243. did i say that right did i say 240 at the end of october and then 243 at the end of november so i was like okay you know not great but still good at least i'm not gaining so then December came and then of course like there were some things like emotionally that I was like kind of going through um, you know like my mom had some issues and you know it was just like a lot that was like affecting me so December was just trash December was an absolute fail I mean horrible at some point in the middle of December I was just like should I just give up stop doing this and everything and at this point I had decided to make this channel but 
I also felt like a failure because it was like, okay, how can I start a channel? How can I start Slim at Home Mom? But yet I'm gaining weight or not working out and not really eating as healthy as I had been for the last couple of months. So of course, you know, that also made me, like I was just finding comfort in food. So when I stepped on the scale yesterday, December 31st, I was so shocked <laughs> when I saw that I, well, let me just back up a little bit and I'll show the screenshot because I dipped all the way down to 239 and I was so proud of myself and then everything else kind of like happened and ugh, stress, stress is horrible for losing weight. Anyway, so I ended up um, ending the year, the decade, the month at 244 pounds. So I ended up gaining a pound um, from November. At first I was like, oh my God, I'm like gaining weight. But then when I realized like in my head, I was like, okay, even though I gained, I still felt a sense of accomplishment because I didn't gain all of my weight back or I didn't gain the 19 pounds or whatever it was that I ended up um, losing at the end of November, I think it was, or October, I don't know. So overall, when it's all said and done, I ended up losing just over 20 pounds I think it was like 20 and some change and initially I was like disappointed because I had gotten down like to 23 pounds or something like that but I still lost 20 pounds on my own and you know you kind of have to take like the small wins losing weight is not a race you I've learned as I learn more about nutrition and health and wellness the last thing you want to do is lose weight rapidly because what you're doing to lose weight rapidly, at least in my experience, it's not sustainable. So I am at a steady pace, even though I know I could have lost so much more weight if, if I, I stuck to my plans and everything that I had. I've also learned, I don't know, there could be people out there that can just start and just do it. Not me, I literally need a plan. Like it is it is one thing and it's awesome to have the mindset and to know that you definitely wanna change. But me personally, I need to literally have a plan. So going forward, especially because I finally took the leap and I finally decided to start this channel, I like that I have accountability for myself, but I also like that I can share with you guys things that have worked for me, things that won't work for me, or just anything. So with this channel, I definitely want to share the recipes that I have, um, share things that have helped me along the way. I definitely want to show you guys like my workout regimen and what I do and the tools that I that has helped me lose the weight that I did lose so far, especially the bulk of it in the beginning of my weight loss journey over the past few months. But I also want to build a community and just kind of have a space where moms, people like us can support each other and share tips and ideas and all of that stuff because let's face it, in order for me to be the best wife and mother that I could be for my family, I needed to start taking better care of myself. Being a mom is hard work. It doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you're a working mom if you're a single mom, if you're a married mom, if you're a blue mom, green mom, white mom, black mom, it does not matter. Being a mom is hard work. It is literally thankless sometimes and you definitely sacrifice a lot to make sure your children are happy and healthy and thriving. Um, our one-year-old, he is high needs and to put that in the very basic of nutshells, a high needs baby is a baby the best way that I can describe it just really, really quickly is imagine a very, very clingy baby times 1000. And even though he's absolutely perfect and he's so smart and he's thriving and he's hitting, it, hitting his milestones, it's a lot when he doesn't, he's not able to soothe himself. So I constantly, we constantly have that physical contact with one another or he nurses pretty much all day he nurses through the night he wakes up several times a night 
and that in itself can be overwhelming so let me know if you guys want me to make a video about raising a high needs baby yeah and i want to hear from other moms if you happen to have a high needs baby or if you had your baby in the garage of it like leave a comment down below and let me know like how you dealt with it and for the past year it's been pretty stressful but he start he's starting to get a little more independent it's just that he's still very attached to me but you know that's just him and we love him we love if him. you take one thing away from this video from this channel just know weight loss living a healthy lifestyle losing weight whatever you want to call it is not a race okay pace yourself be gentle to yourself and don't forget to like my video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on that notification so bell. you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and that's um, it oh my god i made my first youtube video so i'm super excited i apologize if i have been super awkward it was kind of like stressful getting all this together i'm so not used to this but here we are and um thank you so much for watching Till next time guys